Yeah, wow. So both of them fantastic. A great final of the video and of course Morissette at doing those riffing runs. Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite vocal coach Tanya Levy back on track. Today I'm reacting to Filipino singers attempting Mariah Carey's Butterfly Climax. Now I went yesterday to the videos of um, MGN, you know, music, games and news and I know him since the times I lived in Singapore and when the reactions all just, you know, kind of like there was this breakthrough moment of reactions and um, I spoke with him, he's really really nice and sometimes I go into his channel and I see what is he up to, is there something new and interesting that I have missed. So greetings to you Ovela, thank you so much for inspiring me because you always have very interesting content. So I'm, you know, I'm sneaking there a little bit around and I thought yes, this is the video I have to react and I would say let's start, okay? In one, two, three, go! Jonah, great, fantastic job. Wow. Yeah, you definitely can hear a difference from uh, from Joda and Kyla, right? If you are a mezzo soprano or you are a soprano. There are differences in, there are differences in each register. Now, if you are a soprano or a soprano, you can be a very dramatic soprano or a lyrical soprano. If you are a dramatic soprano, like um, Demi Lovato, so that then your voice can sound a little bit darker, has, has more richness into it, has, has more depth into it. This is also, there are differences that can sometimes be very difficult, but you can be a very light, lyrical soprano like Ariana Grande and she's really you know you can hear that clearness that that sharpness that that light that lightness in her voice right um, if you are a mezzo and you try to reach that high part it can be sometimes difficult because this is mm, I wouldn't say out of your range but it, it's it's already it can be difficult let's say it like this but you can do it it will just sound a little bit more darker and has a different quality into it let's continue just for a slightly moment i had the feeling that that sounded really close to mariah carey's tone right all right, Carrie has a has a tone into it, and it, it had some similarities there. You can see everyone is really different and working that part out. Yeah, great, Nina. Also, very nice. Now I think at some point a lot of them sound really similar kind of, right? I think Nina had a little bit more that sharpness into it, it has a little bit had a little bit yeah, different 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 acu acoustic boost, you know? It sounded just more sharper, more brighter at some parts. Okay, and let's continue. Oh wow. Mm. 
Katrina. Wow. Well, Katrina, you know, guys, we have a playlist of Katrina Villard. Since, I think, 2018, there is a playlist here. And she really established herself as an independent artist in the Philippines. She definitely, from all of the singers that I hear, has has a really fantastic voice, a richness, and uh, a quality into it that is amazing, right? I think some of them, you know, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. Let's continue. Morisette with her crack. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's that's hardcore, you know? And there she at least Morisette was using her upper body, was going into her knees, trying to get more supporting muscles into it to stabilize those really high notes, you know, to help her to to, to stabilize. And Katrina Villard was just sitting, you know, if I sit and drink a coffee, I already feel like oh, my stomach is just full in a second. If I sit and sing, that's that's death row for me because it's like the death. I mean, sitting and singing is the worst thing I can do. I was not trained to sit and sing and I have a lot of huge respect for everyone because my diaphragm is just not really, it's, it's, it's stressed. Um, it's it has to work much more harder. It's not really relaxed. The whole, you, you know my my back is just arched that way. My larynx just drops, and then I have to uh, have to use different muscles to help me to sing and to engage, which is not necessary. Yeah? For example, if I arc my back like this, then I have to use more power from the neck, and then these muscles that stabilize the larynx are just hanging loose. And then this whole part is just collapsing because I'm not really breathing properly. And I have nothing to support me. You know, I need to I need at least to anchor to stabilize for singing, to stabilize those notes, to make sure that when I breathe properly, the quality of the air that comes out is good. Because singing is all about the quality of the air that comes out and goes goes through your vocal folds. Now if you have little breath then the production of the note will will sound also not not proper yeah yeah these are some things that you really have to have in mind and and sitting is also um you know i, I would always go for standing because you can use your back and then you can use your, your your legs to support and to engage doesn't always have to be contracting of the of the belly muscles you know you have you have layers of belly muscles you want to engage them but not overly excessively like a lot of people do Okay, Regine. Yeah, Regine, come on. Queen. Wow, she has some twang into it, but oh, both of them girls. What a jump, you know, it's always a crazy jump. Yeah, wow. So both of them fantastic. A great final of the video. And of course, Morizette doing those riffing runs. What is so difficult about this part is of course the jump into this really high note. Now you can either belt it or you can mix it. It really depends on which register you are. Now, if you are a mezzo and you see, oh, your belting range is already, you know, stopping here then it might sound already that note can sound too sharp and too tight even though you could belt it and you do belt it but in that occasion you might want to skip it and go into a, a chest a, a belty chest mix you know or a belty mix or a, a chesty mix voice really depending if you're really good and you are at Celine Dion's quality you are right here about I don't know where more reset is but you know belting is very <laughs> it's very it's it's a thing you know it's a technique that you that you have to understand because you can make a lot of mistakes there and this can cause you a lot of trouble in the long term now if you are a soprano it doesn't matter you don't really have a problem you could your belting range range expands yeah but that doesn't mean that you have to always go and belt 
because it really depends on what is the message in the song, what are the lyrics about, what is the, uh, the, the, the music. If you are having a piano and the music is, you know, if you sing, I'm, gonna, I'm telling you, I'm not gonna going, then this is the right song to belt because it has an aggressive undertone. It's, it, it has an aggressive undertone, it's in the lyrics. But if you go for a Billie Eilish version and you make a belty song out of it, it might be difficult, right? So you really want to make sure what to belt, what to riff. If you just continue to, 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 to you know, bell for four minutes straight, people not gonna like it because it's such a metallic, loud sound in their ears. So my friends, let me know in the comment section which of them was your favorite. I think I'm gonna go, I think um, Katrina, like always, Regine, Morissette. That was one girl, I think Dessa, I think I like the timbre of her tone. Adona was good too, just because she has this rich dark tone. And I think they were all good and exceptionally good because they can, you know, they hit those high notes going from this into that and then do a riff and a run, it's, it's fantastic. Yeah, so my friends, thumbs up, let me know in the comment section what you want to see next. I'm also on TikTok and on Instagram and I would be so happy to see you there. Okay, my friends, big kisses from Germany.